Hello, MGTOW. Hello, men. This is Howard Dare. Thanks for stopping by. So, I just wanted to record a positive message for MGTOW today. I should do this every morning, but I, I really don't have the uh, means to do so, but I'm working on that. So, what I want to talk to you about is just some basic Stoic principles for men. You know, we often here in MGTOW talk about, uh, you know, men and women are equal. You know, this is, this is uh, the prevailing thought going through our society and our culture. Uh, but of course, we're not the same. You know, equal in rights, equal before the law, is not the same as being the same. So this refrain of we're all equal is actually very unfair to the men because the men have vastly different needs psychologically, emotionally, physically than the women. So, you know, you, you set up your company, you set up your culture, your human resources department, your rules and regulations dictated to you by your ethics, hopefully, right? And they're set up for 50% of the people, you know, they're, they're just ignored is what it comes down to. And the tools, the strategies, the protocols that you as a man need to use and employ to get through your day, get through your difficulties are completely different from those that a woman needs to get through her day and to get her stuff done. So, this idea that we're all equal is absurd. It, it would be like saying that, you know, a five foot five basketball player and a six foot five were in fact equal. <laughs> and they're clearly not. So, to me, the great danger has always been not that women will have the equal rights of men. That's just fine. They could always have that. It's that the men will start to think that they are like women, and they're not. Physiologically, biologically, emotionally, psychologically, they are not. Socially, culturally, a man is not the same as a woman. If the man starts to cry in public, people will look away in disgust. If the woman starts to cry in public, people will come towards her and ask her what's wrong. So, despite the message coming out of our media and our culture and our society that we're all equal and we're all the same, that's only for the people who want some of the, uh, shall we say, privileges <laughs> that you as a man have. And of course, you know, if you've got any age on you, and I mean like if you're, you know, 25, uh, you know that it's not a privilege. It's a responsibility to be a man, to conduct yourself in a masculine manner. You know, slight s small side topic here. There are opportunities for leadership in, in between moments, in the smallest moments, and it has to do with how you, as a man, respond to emotional situations, right? So this is directly in line with what I'm talking about. People don't do what we say they should do. People do what they see us do. And so when you, as a man, are facing a difficult situation and a typical response might be to become emotional and to become upset and then to express your feelings. What you need to be aware of is that other men might well be watching you and judging what you do and using that as their cue for what they should do. Not what you say, but rather what you do or what you don't do. So, you know, the message is, life is not about what happens to you. Life is about how you respond to what happens to you. And 
you know, it's a simple idea. You could have terrible things happen to you, and these things could call forth the giant within that's sleeping dormant within you because your society and your culture has shamed it and guilted it and shut it down. So you could respond to the difficult situation with your best self stepping forward. You know, I've had times in life, I used to surf in California when I was younger, um, <laughs> but I wasn't very good at it. And sometimes I'd look out uh, at the waves and I'd think to myself, there's no way I can get out there. Those waves are too big. They're too straight. They're just up and down. And uh, they're going to break right on me, you know, pretty much no matter where I go. And sure enough, I'd go to paddle out and, uh, you know, I'd have a real hard time getting through the waves. Other times, the waves could be just as bad. And my attitude was more along the lines of, it's just water. It'll toss me around a little bit, but I'll just go with the flow, <laughs> literally, and um, I'll be fine. So two identical situations, roughly identical, and my attitude and my attitude alone is determining how well I get through that particular situation. You know, here's something fascinating. There's a group of muscles throughout your body mostly support muscles like the sohos and the uh, hip flexors and your jaw muscles and certain facial muscles, okay? You don't control them. Oh, <laughs> and let's not forget that other muscle, okay? You don't control it mechanically. You can't just say to yourself, you know, release the tension in the face or increase, you know, the tension in the groin, it's not, it's not that kind of a muscle. <laughs> People think it is, like you go work out on it. You can't. It's a muscle that responds to your mood. So what if you're walking around all day long with a nasty attitude, with an angry, resentful, bitter uh, attitude? And you know, this is cortisol, okay? And of course, you know, this is a muscle-wasting, you know, hormone to a degree, right? It's anti-anabolic. So your thoughts affect your feelings. If you feel you've been cheated, or rather, if you think you've been cheated, you will replay that thought through your mind. And that thought will affect your feelings. You'll start to feel, you know, like you'll tell yourself a story, oh, they treated me unfairly. And then you will start to feel uh, less than, angry, upset, uh, incensed by the injustice of it. This is largely what you'll feel. And now you're walking around with the cortisol, the stress, the anger, the resentment, clouding your entire system. What happens to you is not as important as how you respond to what happens to you. Men are not women, okay? You can't break. You can't become emotional. And that even means you don't want to be getting angry either, right? Like, like we, you know, have this stereotype in our mind that uh, when a woman gets emotional, she's crying. And when a man gets emotional, he's angry. And that's okay, because that's the way it is. And if men and women are the same, then, geez, I guess men can just cry and become all emotional. And of course, they can't. You know, physically, they can do it, but if they do it, they're going to pay a very nasty price for it that a woman will never have to pay. Similar circumstance. Let's say, you know, somebody's becoming aggressive, right? The natural response, of course, is to become aggressive yourself. But for the most part, that merely escalates the situation. And you've, you've dealt with this. And... You know, if you're anything like me, at this stage, you don't care. In other words, you're fine with the idea of escalating the situation. And usually what happens is the confrontation builds, but then it breaks up before there's uh, any sort of physical confrontation. And this is true in the animal kingdom as well, right? 
They're not setting up to fight. They're setting up to show that they can fight and thereby avoid the actual fight. Uh, but if necessary, you know, going into the fight. Now, if you go down this road, and this is the road that most of us go down, it's not going to end well. You know what I mean? Your, your best outcome is two people ramping up the, uh, escalating the emotional, you know, content of the whole situation up to a nine or a 10, right? But then it's going to break down before it becomes physical and you're going to be able to walk away in most cases. What kind of leadership as a man is that? If you were a general and one of your uh, officers came to you and was behaving inappropriately, would you get in a verbal argument with them? Would you get in a fight with them? Or would you try to calm them down to get the information that you need as a general and then move on? And if they weren't willing to do that, wouldn't you simply just dismiss them? You'd have to. You'd allow for some emotional reaction, you know, some overreaction. You'd allow for that because that is our nature to do that. But you wouldn't indulge it. You wouldn't endure it. And at least internally, regarding the things that happen to you in this day, you can dismiss it. You don't have to remunerate the thought of injustice, which creates the feeling of resentment, which creates this catabolic physiology. And if you think that it doesn't matter, what I'm trying to say to you is I think it might matter more than even what happens to you. Okay? So, I'm just suggesting a little bit more emotional control. You know, and in many ways, when I make these videos, I'm talking to myself, right? I'm saying to myself, Howard, don't get all upset internally over what's going on. Wait and see. Let it be. Let what happens, happens. Keep myself in reserve. Keep my thoughts in reserve. And then respond to what happens appropriately so that I can still accomplish what it is I want to accomplish today. Don't let them, don't let them you know, get you upset. That's all I'm trying to say. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, donate, especially donate. Click on my Cash App donation link in the description and in the comments section below. I really do need your support, MGTOW. I'm not looking for, uh, you know, creating some big giant YouTube channel or creating some giant affiliate marketing network hub. I'm looking to talk to men that might want to get a little bit of insight from other men so that they can have a better life. Okay? This isn't about me. This is about doing a job and getting something done. Right? And I want to, I want the men to be on that path as well. I don't want them on that emotional path of, you know, I wasn't treated fairly and this is how I feel about it and these are my thoughts about it. No. I want them to be able to put that aside and go do the important work on themselves that they need to do. So help me do that. Okay? So, like, share, comment, subscribe, donate, and join me again, Howard Dare, as I hope to and plan to have more content for you. Thank you, MGTOW.